The men's short program coming up in just a matter of minutes. The battle for male figure skating supremacy of late has pretty much been a two-way fight between the Russians, Evgeny Plashenko and Alexei Yagudin. Now, Plashenko held the edge in 2001, finally winning the world championship, but Yagudin, a three-time world champion, has been remarkably graceful under pressure. Financial Group, supporting Olympic dreams since 1947. My mother said once, like, because I was asking her, okay, I need a brother, I need a brother or sister, it doesn't matter who it was. I just don't want to be only one child. And she said to me, you know, Alexei, I lost, like, so many years of my life just trying to help you. I mean, like, to, because she was so close to me, our, my, my dad left me and my family, so she was taking care of me. Yagudin's mother introduced him to skating, then to coach Alexei Mashin. One of Russia's best, he formerly coached Olympic gold medalist Alexei Ermanov. Four years ago, Yagudin decided Mashin's stable of skaters was too large, and he left for more individual attention. I cried for two nights because I've been with Alexei Mishin for many years, and. I became a European and world champion with him, and then everything was over. Like, uh, I'm never go I will never go again to St. Petersburg and skate there. And it was really sad. Yagudin went to the United States to train with Tatiana Tarasova, a coach with a style far different than Machin. I love uh, uh, Alexei like, like mother, like coach, like people who love figure skating, like people who love men, real men figure skating. I prefer to be with uh, my skater honest, first of all, to be professional. My opinion is no way to create the same relations like father and son between coach and skater. With Tarasova, Yakutin obtained his second and third world titles and seemed content in the United States. Then in 1999, he was released from an ice show because of alcohol-related allegations. We all do mistakes. I mean, there are no perfect systems, there are no perfect, perfect people. So, I made a mistake there and I learned my lesson. Mistakes are something Yagudin rarely makes on the ice. At last year's Worlds in Vancouver, despite being hobbled by injury,